Welcome back to Parthi's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making another popular vegan dish, pomegranate chana or chickpeas. The distinctive tartness comes from the pomegranate seeds mixed with mango powder or the tamarind paste. You can use raw chickpeas or canned chickpeas. However, the raw ones will need to be soaked night before and then pressure cooked the next day. In this video, we're going to be using canned chickpeas. You will need a medium heavy base pan, spatula, one medium bowl, small non-stick pan, measuring spoons, ladle, colander, and a coffee grinder if using whole spices. As for the ingredients, you will need 3 tablespoons ground anardana or pomegranate seeds, 1 tablespoon of amchur or mango powder, or 1 inch cube of tamarind paste, 1 teaspoon red chili powder, 1 and a half teaspoons coriander powder, 1 tablespoon chaat masala, 1 teaspoon salt, 2 large cans of chickpeas, half a cup of masoor dal, 4 cups of water, 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil, 1 green chili, 3 inch fresh ginger root, 1 large onion, and to garnish, handful of cilantro. Step 1 would be to measure out all dry spices. Chop green chili finely. In a small bowl, soak a nardana, green chili, and amchur powder or tamarind paste in half a cup of water. Set aside. Meanwhile, peel and grate the ginger. Cut onion to thin slivers. Empty the can of chenna into a colander. Wash and drain several times to remove excess salt and canned smell. Wash and drain masur dal. In a heavy base pan, bring three and a half cups of water to a boil. While waiting, heat the oil in a non-stick pan and stir fry the ginger till browned. Add onions and allow them to become glossy. Once glossy, mix in red chili powder and coriander powder. Remove from heat. When water boils, reduce heat, add salt, chana and masoor dal. Bring mixture to a boil, while partially covered to prevent spillage. Reduce heat to low and simmer until masur dal begins to dissolve. Add previously soaked nardana chili solution, chaat masala, and the ginger onion mixture to the chana. Allow flavors to blend, cover, and simmer until the chana reaches a desired level of firmness, or until masur dal dissolves completely. Taste for salt and adjust tartness using additional amateur or tamarind paste. Garnish with chopped cilantro. Jana can be served as a main course with rice, naan or puris. Leftovers can be blended into a spreadable hummus for snacks and sandwiches. This preparation is completely vegan, low in fat and an excellent source of protein and fiber. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. To see this recipe and over 200 other Indian vegetarian dishes, please check my website www.pastamasala.com or better yet, buy a copy of my cookbook.